have Sylvester been with us for a long time. He's been with Speak Up for over a year now, and he continues to grow and develop with us. Abs is passionate about helping others uh, and giving them the motivation that they need to succeed. Um, Abs is a motivational speaker, success coach, and entrepreneur, and is here today to present you with the Eye of the Tiger. Please welcome Abs Delilah. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. Good evening. From the bottom of my heart, <laughs> thank you for coming this evening. And give yourself a clap. Thank you. <laughs> I got the eye of the tiger. Every one of you here, no matter who you are, where you're from, what your background is, you got the eye of the tiger within you. It's not about age, color, anything like that. You have the eye of the tiger. So I need to participate, everyone. Face the person next to you, shake their hands. Now, I say, eye of the tiger. <laughs> and roar at each other, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, this is based on a song called Survivor. It's the eye of the tiger, it's the thrill of the fight, rising up the challenge of our rival and the last known survivor, stalks its prey in the night, and he's watching us all, the eye of the tiger. Katy Perry did a similar song to this. But the real story of the tiger, when a tiger sees a prey, it'll do whatever it takes to achieve it. No matter what obstacle it takes, it will have it. Tiger itself, the eyes, actually comes behind of the ears. There's a little spot, all the tigers have it. When he locks into a prey, game over. You need to turn prey into your own goal. What are your passion? Your business? Holiday? Dream holiday, you want to go on a cruise? That's your goal? Go for it. What's stopping you? Turn the prey into steps to achieve your goal. You want to be a millionaire? You can achieve it. Just the eye of the tiger. Just the eyes in your tiger, you'll achieve it. I had the eye of the tiger before I was 18. At the age of 18, I said, I'm going to change my life completely. <coughs> poverty, I was in a poverty. My dad was working as a chef. My mom was a full-time mom. I was living at a council estate with three brothers, three sisters, I was the eldest. We were living our paycheck to paycheck. Reject, people used to reject, you know, totally wrote off me completely. They thought I would reject. Loser, how do you feel people calling you loser every single time they see you in your face? Why? Why have I done wrong to them? I left school with no qualifications. No qualifications at all. I was very unintellectual. Completely, I was not. People say to me, you need to be intellect to do things right. Actually, if you've got the right attitude, you can do whatever you want. 
just need a right belief within yourself. After 18, one of my goals was degree. I achieved that within five years. At 23, I achieved my degree. It was the proudest of my time because I had to retrain myself academically. My next goal was a master's degree. At the age of 31, I achieved it with all the obstacles in front of me. Not able to get a job, had to work somewhere where I had to, you know, start from the, from the bottom. The only way I could get a job is through references. When I got references, I got into public sector work. I worked as a, a housing officer for 13 years, experienced housing officer. Now I'm an entrepreneur. At 33, I was successful online business. I reached to the top. Currently now, I have four businesses. My current goal is to be an international motivation speaker. And I will achieve it, no matter what it takes. I will get it. Even if I'm in the 50s, I will get it. Because you all can do it as well. You can achieve your own goals. Whatever your goals are, you can achieve it. People say you need motivation. There is some part is true, but not all of it. I was reading in a website called Inc.com. They said 92% fail their goals, and only 8% do. So what elements do you need to achieve your goals? Short term, medium term, long term? You need energy. If you don't have energy, your mind and heart doesn't work, you can't achieve. You need self-belief. You need to be passion. If you don't have any passion, you need desire. You need persistency. You need determination. You need to have driven. You need to have work ethics. How, what the distance you can go to achieve it. You need self motivation. But that all boils to one thing: self improvement. <coughs> if you don't work within yourself, how are you gonna grow? How are you going to achieve? Last week, I was here in, f in the audience watching two speakers. They were saying, like, you need to spend an hour a day on self-improvement. An hour a day. So today is a lucky day. I'm going to tell you how to split the one hour. Twenty minutes on reading, reading books. You got like Tony Robbins. You got Zig Ziglar. You have uh, Bob Proctor. Uh, we have T. Harvecker. You got many other audio books on self development. You can read on. Twenty minutes on audio, or visual, or video, uh, relates to what you want to improve on. So if you want to learn about camping or anything like. 20 minutes on taking action. Whatever you learn, at least take action some part. Not all of it. I've given you guys a tip to do one hour. I spend two and a half hours a day on self-improvement. Two and a half hours. Is life too short to sit back? 
I have to show. Go the distance, take yourself to another level all the time, no matter what age you are. Before I was coming here, a lady at age of 82, she became the world bodybuilder. I was like, wow, at 82? People tell us about the age. It's not about the age. It's all in here, all in here. If you can connect the two, you can go forward. So I need you all to say something to me. So, Pasha. I will win, not immediately, but definitely. Again, I will win, not immediately, but definitely. This is the last quote from mine I've done myself. To succeed in life, you must have eye of the tiger. Thank you for listening and watching this presentation. Gracias.